pastor of a church in Calpens whose sign says, Pray for our president. It's gotten a lot of attention on social media. Of course, it comes after the House of Representatives voted to impeach the president last week. Seven News reporter Scotty Kay standing by live at that church with why the pastor put that particular message on display. Scotty. Gordon, Pastor Griffith here at Mountain View Baptist Church says his entire congregation was 100% on board when he decided to put pray for our president on the sign behind me, saying they're not afraid to speak out about what they believe in. While driving along I-85 on their way to their holiday destinations, many folks will pass a big glowing sign in Cowpens. And among the many wishes of a Merry Christmas that appear on that sign, another message is shared. Pray for our president. This message was added to the sign's rotation of graphics last week after President Trump was impeached by the House of Representatives, and it's gotten a lot of reaction from the community. We didn't do it to get a reaction. It's something the pastor of the church, Stephen Griffith, said was a no-brainer. If the churches of America do not speak out, who will? But there are folks who don't agree with the church's sign. One man who says he's in the process of being ordained told me the sign is not something he would have displayed at his own church, saying he believes it's divisive and doesn't believe it's a church's job to endorse a politician. What could be wrong with that? How could that hurt America? The editor of popular evangelical magazine Christianity Today recently posted an article saying he believes Trump should be removed from office. Griffith says he's aware of those not in favor of Trump or of his church's sign, but he says it doesn't bother him. We're willing to take it. We, we're, we're, not, we're not worried about it. We support the things that we feel like are positive for this nation. Griffith says he believes prayers for the president are always needed, regardless of who's in office, and says it's his Christian duty to do so. I'd say that if that was Barack Obama. If, if, they're, if they're continually harassing him, still it doesn't matter. We're commanded in the scripture to pray for those in authority. Now the pastor tells me they plan to keep this message up and running on the sign throughout the holiday season and possibly longer. Live in Cowpens tonight, Scotty K, 7 News.